AMOLED burn-in. Is this a thing on Garmin watches with AMOLED displays? Uh, the company has been gradually transitioning their smart range from MIP displays to AMOLED screens. While the second offers vibrant colors and high pixel density, it also comes with the risk of screen burning, an issue that has become increasingly apparent in Garmin's first generation AMOLED devices. The company has addressed the issue in newer generation devices, but it may still be behind some of its rivals. To remind, the original Garmin Venue, uh, which was released approximately four years ago, was the company's first smartwatch to feature an AMOLED display. Unfortunately, many users have reported significant burn-in issues, often appearing suddenly and rendering the screen unusable in severe cases. This problem has been exasperated by the fact that these devices are now out of warranty which has left users with limited recourse to official support channels. The root of the issue lies in the organic materials used in AMOLED displays, which naturally decay over time. Without proper protective measures, static elements on the screen can cause uneven wear, leading to visible burn-in. As the images in this video show, this manifests as ghosted images, text outlines, or color distortions on the display. Unlike competitors such as Apple, Samsung, and Wear OS devices, the original venue lacked sophisticated burn-in prevention techniques, and it seems many users of the first-generation device opted to enable the always-on display, which is one of the main culprits of the problem. Recognizing the severity of the burning issue, Garmin has implemented several protective measures in their newer AMOLED models, such as the Venue 2 and Epix Gen 2 series. These devices now incorporate various protections. This includes display scaling, which means the screen is slightly reduced in size during idle modes. Then we have pixel shifting. The display content is suddenly moved around to prevent static image retention. Three, improved watch face development guidelines. Garmin has updated its recommendations for third-party developers to minimize burning risk. This is particularly important when it comes to designing watch faces. Automatic screen timeout features. Recommendations against prolonged use of always-on display play modes. And finally, the screen uh, goes to sleep at night. Some of these are common sense and they depend on uh, user settings. But it's good to be aware uh, of uh, measures that can be used to combat screen burn-in. Uh, while these uh, measures have improved the situation, they may not be as comprehensive as those employed by competitors such as Apple. They use more aggressive display scaling and repositioning techniques for their Apple Watch series. The good news is that Garmin is actually quite good at replacing devices suffering from screen burning, particularly if you have a newer watch and it is still under warranty. But even if it's not, it's worth posing the questions because it seems to be a case-by-case -case scenario. So it's definitely worth a try uh, speaking to uh, Garmin support even if uh, your warranty is uh, has expired. Garmin seems to be transitioning to AMOLED displays. There's even talk that the upcoming Phoenix 8 might adopt this technology. So it is good that the company is taking strides in, addre in addressing burning-in issues. However, the experience with first-generation venues serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of implementing robust protection measures from the outset. While newer Garmin AMOLED watches offer impro improved longevity, users should remain mindful of uh, best practices mentioned in this video to maximize the lifespan of their devices. At the end of the day, for those who prioritize an always-on display, actually opting for a Garmin watch with an MIP screen might still be the most reliable choice. That's because that type of display is very unlikely to experience burning issues.